Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Automation channel. In this session, we're going to discuss about PyTest fixtures. So these fixtures are nothing but uh, some kind of a precondition. So similar to before test, before class. So similar to that, uh, this fixtures allows us to execute the code which will run when test cases are being executed. So I will show you a simple demo that how you can create uh, these fixtures and how we can write it and if you are new to this session do watch my earlier sessions where we have discussed about uh, the introduction installation and some basic uh, subset strings by executing the method concept and marker concepts so those are very much important for your test case automation and this is also one of the important topics so do watch the entire session so that you will understand these fixtures and you can implement effectively so this is our project repo so in this repo, uh, there are files which we have created in last sessions, right? So I will modify this one of the demo test. I mean, I already modified it to reduce the time of this session. So in this file, I have created one pytest.fixtures. And this will only when uh, whenever you import this pytest, it will show you in the pytest as a fixtures. Else it will throw an error. So it is like a importing a package similar to that. And the reason why I am showing in the file system uh, before we go into the PyCharm is to make familiar of how this file structures will work when you run or play with the PyTest. So this will help you to identify what changes you do and where it will impact. Right. So in this, I have created one value. So where it is an addition of two numbers and returning the value of C. And I have created two test methods. One is test check even, test check odd. So if the value is equal to if you are dividing and you are, it's giving a zero, then it's an even. If it is giving a zero uh, other than zero, it's an odd number. So it's a simple one. I just written, and uh, in the same location we have to open the command prompt. So shortcut is uh, type here cmd, and it will open your command prompt. So initially, uh, how we need to run is pi dot test so i will show you uh, two different ways that how we can use this fixtures concept and uh, it's a demo file so now if i execute it you can see there are two uh, items collected and in them one is pass one is fail one is a, a pass because it's an even number or odd number we have condition right so the first one is failed because it's not an even number Second number is passed, it is because of it's an odd number. So I will just tweak uh, those numbers or file. So for example, I'll keep this as an hash trick and I will change this as true. So now let me rerun again. Now you can see the results will get changed. I think there is an error interrupted. Okay, we are consuming that value. Uh, so I, instead of commenting it, I'll just use it and I will mark this as also zero. Okay. Because we are doing a, a calling a fixtures right into the test. So we shouldn't do that. So now you can see there are two test pass. I will show you one more tip in this session that uh, in the last session I have shown you or told you that a test file should start with a test underscore or end with test. So similar to that, if the test, so whichever test case that you are executing, right? If that particular test is not with the test tag. So for example, here I have removed this test here and just check odd. And if I execute that, now you can see it has collected only one item and it has executed only one test and that test case is get passed. Another test case is not executed because it's not pro following the proper uh, wording. So that wording is the test. So if you add test here or you can say, uh, let me give a try with the ending a test, right? So in the both ways you can see, I think this ending is not acceptable because it's a method. Only file will accept ending with test. So here I will say this has test again. Save and again come back here and run. Now you can say two is getting passed. So this is something which is on the file level. I mean, one of the Python file I have executed or I have run with uh, this fixtures. But for the entire project, how can I use this fixtures? 
so for that there is a concept of using a conf test so i will let you know in deeper why we need that conf test file and what is the importance of conf test file into the project so for say example for now i will modify this file name and just as a conf test so i will rename this as conf test so in this conf test i will open this conf test as well so open with notepad so we have this code which we have discussed as part of markers right so i will use this same file and also this demo test so i will use this another notepad so we have uh, this code this fixtures code so i will take this or i will remove from this place and i will use it in the conf test okay in this file i will remove entire code and i will just put this only this import pytest and fixtures now our fixtures file our fixture method is into a different file and our tests are in different file but in the test files we are calling that uh, value which is in the uh, fixtures now come back here and i wanted to run the same file which is a demo test right now you can see it is still passing you might be wondering right why and how it has executed because conf test has a fixtures so that fixtures wherever we have that will load as a precondition so that is like a calling before when you execute a test so this is the importance of this fixtures and you can call or you can use this fixtures in the concept of login whenever you do a application login you can put this fixtures there and you can call as and when needed so this is the importance of fixtures and i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague thank you for watching